Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 8 of Dynasty Warriors Extreme Legends Complete Edition. And we are on the Battle of Chengdu. And past me, I actually got a level 3 weapon for that. Why didn't you get the level 3 weapon? God damn it. Do you really want to challenge that badly? Oh, Lord have mercy. Anyway, um, here's the deal about I'll this battle. I picked but Peng Tong for the star anymore. requirement. See, this is one of four battles where you have to pick the star of this battle in order for you to get better results. Yeah, this is one of them. Wu has two of them. And if I'm not mistaken, Lu Bu has at least five of them, actually. Mostly because of where Lu Bu's positioned. And Wei has about at least uh, two or three. But folks, those types of missions can be infuriating. Because you want to play as other people, but you're going to end up being guaranteed the historical mission. As opposed to playing as the star of the show, and you'll end up having to get the uh, hypothetical um, route if you manage to make, make the star. But whatever the case, it's things like that that can irk people. Specifically in a certain stage known as Nanjun. Oh, wait till we get to the Wu playthrough. Oh god, I have a lot to say about that piece of shit stage. But at the end of the day, you just need to uh, be focused on who's the star of the stage when it comes down to stages like that and what is their main objective. I mean, you can play this over and over and over again. You're not locked out of the star requirement. It just gets infuriating, though, that you have to play a guessing game sometimes. But it's still the best game in the series. As opposed to Dynasty Warriors 9. And 6 Special. Yeah, but definitely better than 6 Special. At least... In this game, despite the fact you have a linear path, at least the game is not killing itself and screen crunching. The only reason that the game's frame rate is killing itself here is because of the fact that PlayStation Remote, while it is the best thing to bypass copyright, believe it or not, it has a lot of issues with um, frame rate, and that is the problem. And if Discord happens to pop up while I'm trying to record, or any of my mail ends up popping up while I try to record, well, it's going to end up killing. So, the person who will initiate the battle will change. If you did not get Zhu Xu, that person would be Zhang Fei. But if you did, Zhang Fei would not be present. Instead, Zhang Fei will be the reinforcements. So, with that said, let us go out of this way and start this battle. So, uh, yeah, you can play this as Zuchu, as Sushu, just to get the historical. Okay, let's take anyway. You want to go you, the opposite direction of the objectives in I'll order for you to complete the this east. stage. Because if you follow the objectives no with oh, anyone, especially Pang Tong, Pang Tong will die at the end of the stage. Your star requirement is to keep him alive. That's why I'm going this way. Perfect timing. Yeah, it's kind of not hard to put tactics. two and two together on what you need to do with this one. But it's Nanjun in the Shu... No, in the Wu playthrough, not Shu, because Nanjun's not in Shu. Uh, it's Nanjun in the Wu playthrough, which is an absolute pain in the ass, and I hate that stage. Anyway... Let's just go on ahead and take care of business, because... 
<clears throat> you're going to have to fight your way through officers. Normally, if you'd have went to those highlighted spots, you'd have been shot. The way I'm going is to uncover that ambush. And that is the star requirement. However, um, I almost had a dirt moment there and uh, forgot, oh wait, this is the right way. I'm going to have your head. So, uh, I just want to also make sure that I don't take too much damage. And I get caught in the struggle, of course. I really should have got that level 3 fan on my character. I would be doing more damage. But I didn't even think about it. Come on, switch up, fool. Damn it. I mean, me taking damage is not the problem. Me falling for the ambush plot that's waiting in the highlighted areas, that's the problem. And that's what will cost me to go the historical route instead. But I promise you this, by part 9 we will be in the hypothetical route. Because part 8's hypothetical, no not part 9, I mean part 10 actually. Yeah, I, yeah, I forgot. Part nine is actually the battle of Nanjun. I mean, Hong Zong. Sorry, Han Zong. <clears throat> God damn it! Why am I, why am I screwing things up? Anyway, um, what we need to do is, I should have picked up those dumplings. We're not gonna head over to that area over there. We're gonna head over here. And what we need to do. Is eliminate all the officers here. And that means I'm gonna have to switch to something stronger. And see what I'm doing here? I'm using the weapons change as a counter. Something I should have did with Lubu back in part two. But no! I wasn't able to push the button in time! I instead went and ran away and used the strike button! God damn it. I I'm still salty about that. Also, there will be officers that'll be stopping what they were doing and coming to try to kill you. So, uh, once you go and deal with the officers there, well, specifically that one, oh look, and Quick Learner actually is, uh, leveling up. So, what the hell is Quick Learner, in case you're wondering? That's the Experience Points Booster title that you get if you happen to, you know, destroy anybody with an attack upgrade. Oh, and now we climb up here. And this is where we need to be. Zong Ren is waiting for us. And if we were to go here, Zong Ren would have killed us. And oh lord. You actually do take half damage if Zong Ren actually do manage to uh, deal some damage to you. Oh, and by the way, do not fall off of this platform. I just want to point that out to the folks at home. Oh, and that's a second Musao. Um, <clears throat> if you fall off the platform on the other side, it'll count as uh, Peng Tong actually falling for the trap, and he will still end up losing half of his life. Which is dangerous in and of itself. So yeah, you don't want that to happen. And with that said, now we could go and take the other areas. Hey, yeah, the uh... Area, I mean, the whole entirety of the uh, frame rate just dropped right there. Sorry about that, folks. I warned you guys ahead of time that while this is the best solution, I'm still going to be suffering frame rate drops. And here we go. We have a lot of frame rate drops just recently. It's not like I'm trying to make a bad product. No, it's the fact that for some reason, the frame rate just kills and I got like up-to-date stuff on my computer well I wouldn't say up-to-date it's better than what the uh, normal laptop would be I can assure you that 
perfect timing. Hell, if I didn't have the specs, I wouldn't be able to play with um PlayStation Remote. Otherwise, it would not even work on my computer. Hell, let alone I wouldn't be able to record. Hey, I defeated it. Because I had to have a certain frame rate and a certain setup in order for me to do so. So yeah, I can record games off of my PS4. And more importantly, I can record them without having to use the uh, DRM recorder. But the thing of the matter is... You are a fool to come out here. I alone. have frame rate issues when I do. To my tactics. And then here's the thing: I can record games off the Xbox uh, Game Pass. Again, frame rate issues is the problem. Not because of the game, but because of the app. <clears throat> so all you practically have to do, as I was uh, going to say, is just follow the area. And just deal the ambush, and you'll be done. Now, let's give the enemy you'll be done you and want. over with. So all you practically had to do was just uncover Songren, and that's it. And if you didn't, well, you weren't going to be able to actually come out of that unscathed. And I really really should have used the level 3 weapon. It would have helped me out along a, a very good bit, and not to mention Pang Tong's rage mode is just unbearable. But you have to play as him in order for you to get the actual star requirement. Oh, and now that I stop and think about it, all of the enemies are standing they're cowering in fear because of the fact that I caught them in an ambush. Oh, it won't be the first time and it won't be the last. In fact, I also caught Song Ren in an ambush, which is why he was shocked to see me show up when I kicked his ass. Because in all hindsight, Song Ren is the one that actually puts the arrow in, pa in Pang Tong, which in turn kills him. Anyway, we're going to have to uh, murder all these officers in order for us to proceed. And once we take the castle, then we've got a bigger problem. And that bigger problem is uh, Liu Bei is not very smart. And how smart are we talking? Our allies are due to arrive shortly. Liu well, Bei is as gullible as hell. I guess I better hurry and make so gullible back. that when he actually, uh, when you actually try to go to the left area <laughs> of this, Liu Bei will end up being captured and caught in a trap. Oh, and by the way, look at the horse that uh, you are Peng Tong is riding. That horse, by the way, is Hexmarks. And yes, you can get that horse. The thing of the matter is, I think you're supposed to buy that from the stables in Ambition Mode. Hexmarks works the same way it does. It keeps you from falling off of your horse. No, actually, no, that's Shadowrunner. I think Hexmarks actually does, um... I think Hexmarks will allow you to get better weapons if you kill somebody on the horse. I think that's what it does. Because I know Lu Bu's horse, Red Hair, is the fastest horse and the strongest horse. Um, Shadowrunner, it's hard to knock you off of the horse. And, um... The other horses have just base speed and base strength. Whereas, uh... White Dragon, which is uh, Xiao Yu's horse, just gives Xiao Yu an extra bonus. I don't think White Dragon's in this game, but I do believe that Xiao Yun's horse White Dragon is in Dynasty Warriors 9, and it's and actually White Dragon in that game. You are a fool yikes. To come out here alone. Just yikes. You fall prey to my tactics. But I haven't actually like finished playing the game as Xiao Yun. I finished it as Wii Bay, unfortunately. 
So yeah. Anyway, we have to go and save Liu Bei, but first let's take care of the reinforcements and let them come in. And once they do, then we'll be able to take care of business. Oh, and by the way, if uh, I'm sorry to if Su Shu did not I show up you in your camp, Zhang Fei would be the reinforcements instead. Well, Zhuge Liang will show up and Zhang Fei will be the one attacking, but Zhang Fei's not even in the battle, so that means it's going to be a hypothetical route. More so, we're going to have to save Liu Bei, because he's under a time limit. Perfect timing. You see, I was looking for those guys that trapped him into that, uh, those guys that trapped him into that base, yeah, they're gonna freaking kill him if you do not act fast. Thankfully, Liu Bei is naturally at a higher level because, after all, the game acknowledges the fact that your character's at certain levels, and sometimes they can fend for themselves. But when you first start, oh, you have to take priority over. Oh, you have to take your leader as priority over everything else, and that's what I'm trying to say. But, ladies and gentlemen, you are doing an excellent I do believe we've saved Liu Bei, and only thing that is left now for us to do. We just need to go into Chengdu itself. Perfect but first, we have to take I care of business an and look at the ShamWow. Look at the ShamWow and all of its glory. God, that weapon is broken as hell, and I really wish they would have brought it over at Dynasty Warriors 9. But then again, I, I kind of don't, because they really screwed the pooch on that. <clears throat> anyway, all we have to do now, since we broke open the gate, and killed all the officers is cross the bridge and that's it so let's go ahead and cross the bridge to Chengdu and for freedom and benevolence but mostly for benevolence wait actually no let's go on ahead and take care of business here first then so be it. This I was about to say exactly uh, cross the bridge for freedom and benevolence but unfortunately I forgot there are still some enemies here and for the record, Liu Bei cannot fall whatsoever. I mean, it's obvious that your character can't fall, but Liu Bei cannot fall at all. If he does, we'll guess. Oh wait, Zhang Fei is here. Never mind. Herpity derpity. I was going to say Zhang Fei wasn't going to be among the reinforcements. He was going to already be in the damn uh, match, but I, I, I made an error. So. Oops, that's my bad. Oh no, it's not an accurate playthrough! But yeah, like I said, Zhang Fei would actually... Or, I was it Super Leon? No, no, it was Zhang Fei, never mind. Zhang Fei would have actually replaced the guy at camp who would start the mission as opposed to Zhu Xu if you managed to successfully save him in uh, Chirby. And yeah, I keep repeating that, but now it's time for us to go into Qingdu. Further in, that is. Oh, no. This is just terrible. <sighs> we were always secure here, away from the fighting. He talks of benevolence, and yet brings this destruction. The villain. Oh, enemy of justice! Ha! Ah, young master! I need to get your like that. Let's go! Ha! Ha! Eh? Oh. Oh. Yeah! Now you face me! Fear shall strike down all evil! Ah! Insubordination! It's time for us to take care of business with Ma Chao and Madai. And these guys, thank god I have a rage because uh, these guys are pretty damn tough! 
And when they're on the losing end, they will rally. Especially Machow. But I got rid of them quickly and efficiently. So that just means we only got either side. It doesn't matter which. But a fun fact for all of you, if you eliminate all the soldiers before you get to Liu Shang, Liu Shang will be forced to surrender before you even lay a hand on him. No, I'm not kidding. Young master, if that is what you desire. Also, once you defeat Madai and Machao, well. they're gonna defect, and afterwards, Mom, all hell is gonna break to loose enemy? in this place. So yeah, in order to get the star requirement, just simply uh, expose Zangren's plot, survive, and you'll get it You're no problem. Good job. You're going to face me. And that's the thing people don't tend to understand. There's more than one way to beat a certain objective. But the one thing that needs to be said is if you don't expose Zangren and you just go straight to Luau Castle, you'll still end up getting sniped. You have to get rid of Zangren first. I should have mentioned that. But, it's going to come to a point where um, you're going to have to come in with weapons that are both, uh, not only heaven, but also earth. I came in with a man uh, knife, but at the end of the day, it still did some of the job done. Most of what I did was this level 2 fan. Next time, if I ever get a chance to change over to Pang Tong, I'm gonna go on ahead and change that fan. However, it won't be in the next stage. No, 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 no. And I'm gonna tell you why. The next stage, uh, it definitely requires someone else to be the star of the show. Well, particularly the star of the show itself. And there's a reason for that. The star requirement there. So, with that said, I just went and damn near destroyed just about everyone on the field. However, I didn't get all of the officers. Not yet. By the way, you're the one that has to destroy all the officers, not your opponents. Because if your opponents destroyed it, it's not going to count. But if you destroy you all of the day. officers on the field, every father. single one of them yourself, well, guess what? It'll be a special cutscene right before you even get the Liu Zhang. It'll stop! And Liu Zhang will just ultimately surrender. That has been a thing ever since the Battle of Chengdu ever started, can be like in Dynasty Warriors, or I do believe, yes, warrior. Dynasty Warriors 4. You men of you like, once you manage class, to eliminate all of uh, Wu Zhang's no officers, Wu Zhang himself would surrender. from this terrible war. Oh, hooray for Lord Liu Bei! Hooray! <laughs> Master Liu Zhong, I'm... Don't go feeling sorry for him. Hmm? <laughs> Listen carefully. The people are happy to be your subjects. A benevolent man would go to them. Getting the star requirement, Peng Tong would have immediately died in an extra cutscene. 
because he would have died from the open wounds that was given to him. But with that said, there is three kingdoms now. With Liu Bei holding most of Jing, uh, Wu not holding much, and also Wei not claiming uh, Liang province yet. Oh wait, he, he claimed the province. So now, all that's left is Han Zhang. Now, for Wei, Han Zhang is a really devastating uh, mission. But for Wu, it's the easiest mission in the game to get a star requirement. No, I'm not freaking joking. It is, without a doubt, the easiest star requirement in the entirety of the game. You'll learn that soon enough. But because Pang Tong survived, you have your choice between Machao, Huan Zhang, Madai, and of course Pang Tong. It honestly doesn't matter how you achieve the star requirement. It would have been much better if you used Huang Zhang, but still, it doesn't matter how you achieve the star requirement, so long as you do. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition when we take on the Battle of Huang Zhang in Part 9. Peace out, everybody.